All right, welcome back. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Hi. We we have the we have the we have the flame, the the hopeful flame still burning. <laughs> as we're trying to figure out how to toggle lock-ons. Uh, for those of you tuning in, that just mm. means the color. <laughs> And the color, that, that fire color is so intense, it's starting to fill my lungs up with just pure, pure excitement because it looks so cool because the blue, the blue lights pop up in the background more. But anyways, yeah, my, my dad, it was like, he went from like a blue lighting to a, an orangish lighting. No, it's my, it's my, it's my eternal flame, hope, light, light of hope. It's light of light of hope. Because I'm I'm fighting a Catholic here. I need all the. It's like lighting a candle, but different. Well, the architecture certainly is quite Catholic. I don't I don't know what Catholic church architecture is supposed to look like. I know it tends to have more like Gothic themes. Shit, Kevin. That was not the time to try to heal. What a... Oh, that's what you're trying <sighs> to do? Yes. I was I'm... wondering why you just stopped all of a sudden. I miss I misread <laughs> I misread his move and I and I hit X okay. and I and I just I anticipated that I was at least gonna start drinking. So even though I saw that he wasn't moving, I, I was But I Dad, was... it's not even noon and you are already thinking about drinking. Yes, well Sean. That's that like, happens sometimes. Is that what it certainly the happened to me do? when I still drank. Yeah, you you, you would have certainly turned into. Uh, this one's not the here. This is not feeling like this one. They here. If I'm lucky. All right, so maybe I can. Character. Hey. Quick jump. And that's what your character does. Okay. All right. All right. Let's pretend Haunted. that that was a mulligatoni. Whoa. What about eating some rigatoni? That is quite the pasta dish that I haven't had. Wait, is rigatoni the one where the pasta noodles are like stuffed with cheese? Like a regatta or a... Shit. Yet. Mozzarella. So it occurs to me that this Pontiff Sullivan guy seems like what, some kind of lich? Some skeleton abomination creature. It got me thinking about, you know, liches, wraiths, all those types of, like, crusty undead abominations. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of negative, there's a lot of the obvious negative side effects. Now you're a crusty undead, that was the one. But you don't have to eat to survive anymore. Which means you also don't have to shit anymore. And a, and a sentient existence where you don't need to shit. <laughs> okay, let's focus on phase two of the fight. You have 
the both of us got attacked. Ooh, nice blocks. I'm trying to think too hard about how to get the, the I, I'm thinking too much about trying to lock on I just need to fucking do it the way I do it until it gets to him because I'm trying to sit there and I'm trying to think because I'm flicking I'm flicking and all I'm doing is just moving I'm not moving the the thing between them it's I'm just moving so I must have to Tack it, pat, tap it. That's what I mean. That's what I meant by by yeah. By and I believe it's it. direction specific. So like wherever the target is, left or right is okay, the direction. Okay, but I can't think. I can't think in right. five steps during this fight. So I just I need to Dad, fucking. Just, I just need to band aid it the way I've been doing it all along, and just fucking wait until they're separated, and then hope I get the guy that I'm trying to get. I just can't think about you know a one thousand one thought or you know something that's not I don't know I'm just making up excuses because I suck at this game all right here we well, go well you made it this far I mean you're at Pontiff Sullivan what well, it feels like we just started. Oh, I didn't do that on purpose. I know, but that was still most excellent to see. So, you probably... So, let me guess. You meant to bring up your shield to block, but you did the parry. You hit the parry button instead. And oh, you, yeah. you timed it just in time. You're still alive. You're going to have to press X immediately. Like, mash it now. There you go. Good job. What, yep, wait for the AoE. All right. Tab to the left. There you go. Yep, you're you're locked onto the crack. Oh, tab! Yep, tab to the left. Jesus! Well, first get out of there and then tab to the left. We cannot talk about how I'm locking onto these things anymore. Okay. We can't talk about, about it this? anymore. That, I just have to fucking do it the way I need to do it. Forward. Let's keep it straightforward. Just attack whatever you're locked on to. Clone, original recipe dude. Just focus on whatever okay, you're fine. locked on that, to. That, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's it's just play just, it out I've like got, that. I've got, a, I've got a monster coming after me, and I'm trying to think of how to de-ice the, the, the lock on the car. And don't tell me your car doesn't have locks because it's a push-button thing or something like that. That's Wait, not. I'm so th I'm actually still thinking about like, are we talking door locks? Yes, never mind. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right, because you have to de-ice the lock to get the key into the keyhole to. Okay, or unless you have like an electronic. Okay, I'm all Robin, caught up to speed. There's yeah. two ways to crack an egg. Okay, <laughs> there's this way. <laughs> Done. And there's this way. Ooh, I wonder if there's a shell. Right now, right now, me trying to figure out how to fucking lock on or change the little dot on these fuckers is like fishing for the little shell and I don't have the fucking time for it. I okay. like this orchestral music playing as you were bitching and moaning. <laughs> it was actually... I am not bitching and moaning. I am feeling sorry for myself and having a temper tantrum. There's a difference. Okay, but still, a grown man in his 57 minute temper tantrum with this orchestral music was actually... It was fantastic content, Dad. Thank you very much. You know I live to please you, buddy. Yeah, your health's low. Okay. 
Could you imagine this orchestral music being played at a McDonald's? <laughs> You're just waiting. Are you really? <laughs> I, I like the I voice in order. I want a number two extra large. <laughs> Did I distract you with that? This is why I remain quiet during the boss fights, because I know I get a little distract acting at times. It's like, hey, so I then I would like to get you know, in some some, you know, lady with her five kids just like, Alright, Samantha, Samantha, what do you want? I want, we're not getting fish fillets anymore! And then it's just, it's just playing that orchestral music this the is, entire time. Th this is, okay. Alright, you know what? Let's talk McDonald's. Just, <laughs> as long as we don't talk white dots. Alright, whoa, are you talking about the, oh, the dot, the lock-on dot? Yes, Robin, that's the lock-on dot. Okay, I'm not- I don't not... know if you can change the color of that. Anyways, next attempt. <laughs> and, of course, the ice cream machine is broken! <laughs> Wait for it. Alright, we gotta wait for the music to be amped up first. It seems kind of quiet. Oh, maybe you have to get to phase two and then it brings up that symphony. You're also going to help that. That. The ice cream machine! The ice cream machine is broken! My seven kids need their. need the. the. the blood sugar. What do you mean? I, I guess we're getting the chocolate chip cookies! Then the kids start. Bitching and complaining. You're sitting there. <laughs> you're, you're sitting there. You're kind of that sort of sort of in that back off. corner. Now you're in the back corner, just waiting for your order to come up. You no, know, because you, you you had a simple order. You know, a double quarter pounder, no cheese, no onions. You know, make you know, it you large. You know, you want you want the kind of attention you want from corporations in this line of work is sponsorships, not 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 malice. Lawsuits. I'm making fun of the customers, not the business. So oh, okay, uh, <laughs> so you're just a general. You're just a general asshole. <laughs> you, you you don't like the man or the or the kids. <laughs> the man or the kids? Never mind. Oh, then the orchestra uh, music here is playing. You're just waiting for your double quarter pounder meal to get ready. And now the kids are complaining because the ice cream machine is broken. And then this one random, like, fat dude is just like, you know, just like, I just need my spicy chicken sandwich. And he's like, man, this guy's desperate. I don't know, I don't know if he's got a failing marriage or if he has diabetes, but this dude, just this, this spicy chicken sandwich, man, you can tell by the brief look in his eyes, he really wants it. Meanwhile, the kids are now screaming and complaining that they're not getting their McFlurries. Because, you know, the ice cream machine's broken. Whew. So, okay, we were talking about McDonald's for a reason that I forgot. Yeah. 
This is unacceptable. We were promised Oreo McFlurries. We shall now spite you with our divine daddy's credit cards. <laughs> the, the spoiled rich kids don't get their Oreo McFlurries and therefore they'll use the wrath of their, their father's credit cards to like smite the you still haven't got your double quarter pounder no cheese no onion <laughs> McDonald's meal. And it's starting to show. Low stamina. Low health. Low health that. Out of SSN count. If only the ice cream machine was fixed, and, and they they got their McFlurries, maybe this would have ended differently. <clears throat> the funny thing is, you're not distracting me at all. It's just this is a hard fucking fight. Yeah. I mean, you were distracting me earlier, but I've I've tuned you out now. It's just it, it because I've just got to get everything out of my head and just concentrate on these these guys. Yeah. they're just no. Yeah, hard. sometimes you got to play the game like that. I understand exactly what you mean by tuning everything no. else out. Sorry, this is quiet content right now, but I'm just trying to fucking. It's okay. This I'll fill asshole. it in while you focus on the fight. I'll just fill it in with some silly. Oh no! It's it. No, no, no. Me being quiet is great because you're sitting there babbling like I'm. Oh, here, watch me. Watch me. Yeah. Watch me. Watch me. Just and watch me. Not trying to sing a song oh, there. Hey, watch me, nay, nay. And now all of a sudden, oh, God, you're reminding me that the I... Horse, he got his hey, hey, and then that's why we go to the game hard for... I, I ran out of lyrics. Once again, as we wait for the, the ice cream machine to be fixed, for a tantrum is being spent upon the crowd at McDonald's, Will, my dad, get that double quarter pounder, no cheese, no onions, with a large fry and a diet coke? Yes, we are now, we now know the full order we are waiting. But the ice cream machine is still broken. We I mean, must fend off this spoiled rich bitch on Teeth Sullivan while we just simply wait for our order. This dude's, uh, Ivy League graduate. <laughs> Who is throwing a temper tantrum because the ice cream machine is broken. He's still getting his McFlurry.
Yeah, that ice, that ice cream machine really needs to get fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I did better when you were talking about the McNuggets, given, uh, you know. Oh, no. We never once brought off the chicken McNuggets. It's basically been about the McFlurry machine, the ice cream machine being broken, and the spoiled rich kids who wanted to try a poor kid's treat. <laughs> and we were promised Oreo McFlurries, the hoi polloi shall provide. <laughs> I am Team Sullivan! Give this one more try. You know, like, they're so spoiled, they actually have servants that wipe their ass after they take a shit. Like, that kind of spoil. No, fuck that. Learn to wipe your own ass. Teach this. Teach this. He's also in his 20s. McDonald's employees have servants who wipe their asses? Is that what you said? No, no. This guy's a customer waiting for the Oreo McFlurry, but he's a he's a 20-something Ivy League graduate who is so spoiled and wealthy that he's got a servant to wipe his ass after he takes a shit. So, you know, fuck this guy. I am twenty seven. <laughs> Daddy, I need you to file like seven lawsuits, Daddy. I went to college. Stop trying to dodge that. Nice dodge. So, sometimes when I'm doing mundane things, such as shopping at the grocery store, I'll be going down the freezer aisle and I'll just see just a random grocery item and then I'll just fixate on it. And I'll eventually create a little jingle. So, the crinkle cut french fries in the freezer, in the freezer aisle. For some reason, I was thinking about just the, the phrase crinkle cut. And I'm like, man, crinkle cut french fries. Yo, what if, like, as a threat, I told someone I'd crinkle their fries? And then it eventually just led to me just kind of just going like, Crinkle your fries! Crinkle your fries! I will get down and crinkle your fries! You don't do what I say! I'll crinkle your fries! So, you know, that's, uh... That's a recent little, uh, endeavor of mine. Your endeavor is a lot more successful than mine currently is. You're consistently getting to the second phase, though. <laughs> 